All right, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Shape Up's uh, streaming live video. For those of you that are um, at home, the uh, equipment you'll need today, med ball, if you have one, kettlebell, dumbbells, body bar, and a versa loop, which are these round things here. If you don't have any of these equipment, uh, just make do. Hopefully you have at least a set of dumbbells to work with. This morning we're gonna work with AMRAPs, as many rounds as possible. We'll have three movements, and we'll do a certain amount of reps, as many rounds as possible for those three movements in seven minutes. We'll have one minute in between um, to uh, transition to the next set of movements. Anyway, let's start with some jacks, just to warm up, here we go. Just warming up, guys. Nice. Light on the balls of your feet. Nice job, hope the sun is shining where you're at. If not, if it's raining, it's probably because we need the rain. I've had some seal jacks, okay? Arms parallel to the ground. Just opening up those pecs. Go ahead and make them scissors with your feet. Start lean forward. Good. Feel that, open up your pecs right there. Arms parallel to the ground. Today's the total body shred, hitting all the muscle groups. If you want to catch something with more body weight and bands, we'll be holding a five o'clock session this evening. And if you're watching the recorded version, just switch over to that one later if you want to do that workout. All right, how about some jump squats? Touch the ground and reach. Chest is tall, push the butt back. Okay, quarter potty squat. Push that butt back. Don't do knee drops like this, okay? Keep it going. We are just warming up. Get the blood and the juices flowing here. Hope you got your jams, your music going on. For recording purposes, we aren't able to play music, so that gives you an opportunity to get your own favorite music list on, get your own jams going. Nice. Three, two, one. Let's go into a plank position real quick, right here. Just plank, and what I want to do is just rotate. Rotate and reach, open up those pecs. Rotate and reach, open up those pecs. Rotate. Rotate. Good, just opening it up. Nice. Go ahead and bring that into a lunge position here. Right here. Hand down and reach. Nice. Switch sides. On the way and reach. Just opening up that anterior portion. All right, let's just go side to side. Or up the ad adductor muscles. Here we go. All right. Hopefully our body's a little bit warm. You didn't just jump out of bed. Good job. All right, let's do some knee hugs. One, two, some dynamic stretches here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Quad stretches, heel to your butt. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Cradle stretches, get the piriformis. Just bring it up to the ankle, but support that ankle at the bottom so you don't twist your ankle. Go six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Give me some mummy kicks. Legs straight up, get that whole posterior chain. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Arm circle small, bigger, biggest. Palms up, small, bigger, and biggest. All right, here we go. So, our first. 
first set of AMRAPs, three movements. Ball squats, so you grab your medicine ball. If you don't have a medicine ball, just grab a weight, okay? Ball squats, right here. And if you can, toss it and catch it as you're coming down. Then we'll go to some ball pounds. If you're using my med balls on loader, please grab the ends of the ball. Make sure that the hole of the ball doesn't hit the ground so you don't pop it, right here. Ball pounds, use your core to a squat, chest as tall as you come up, and then squat thrust. Now, with a squat thrust, by the way, if you don't have a medicine ball for ball pounds, grab a kettlebell, give me some swings, okay? Or even a dumbbell, you can do swings with a dumbbell, all right? And then squat thrust, that's as easy as this, as this just down and up. No push-up required, we're gonna have a uh, chest superset along the way, so we don't need to get right into the push-ups, all right? So, let's go with, Seven of everything, seven of everything for seven minutes. So we're going to start out again with a ball pounds, ball squat. Let me start the timer. Three, two, one. All right, grab your ball or your weight and let's squat. One, two. There you go. Notice how I'm catching that ball as I'm coming down. If you don't have a ball, just have a nice, heavier weight. Six, seven. Ball pounds. Here we go. And if you don't have a ball, for ball pounds, give me some swings with a kettlebell or a dumbbell. Look up, six, seven. Now down to a squat thrust. I'm gonna ha go ahead and add a ball pound to my squat thrust. Down up, one, two. Now, I'm gonna stop counting. I'm just gonna remind you Seven of everything. Seven squats with a ball or with weight. Seven ball pounds and seven squat thrusts. All right, keep it going. I'm on my second round of ball pounds. I mean, ball squats. Make sure you push your butt back on those squats. Now I'm gonna do my ball pounds. Hopefully, you can get at least six rounds in. So you wanna move quickly. Now, if you don't have a medicine ball, just to show you, grab a weight, and you got swings with the weight. If you got a kettlebell, even better. Grab your kettlebell. Now this is in lieu of ball pounds if you don't have a medicine ball. All right, and then squat thrust. We all know what the squat thrust is. And again, I'm gonna add a ball pound to my squat thrust. Remember, nice tight plank at the bottom of the movement right here, squeeze the shoulder blades. Look up as you come up. Nice job. Keep it going, so as a reminder, squat, Pounds or swings and squat thrust, seven of everything. Keep it going guys, nice job. Team, we just have three minutes to go on this. You're almost there. 
Shake it out. Three rounds. Get three more full rounds in. Come on. Breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. Woo, nice job. All right, you got this, come on. Remember, catch, if you got the medicine ball, catch it as you're descending. Work your core more. And really catching the negatives on that descent, all right? Woo, looking good team, looking good. Squats, pounds and squat thrusts, or squats, swings and squat thrusts. Nice. All right. Down to that last minute and 20 seconds. Finish it, team. Woo! Bless with another day to work out. Bless that we were able to get out of bed on our own. Seize this opportunity as a chance to better yourself. body gives a sound line. Remember, as you come up from that squat thrust, be looking ahead. No rounded backs, no rounded shoulders. All right, you got time enough. 20 more seconds, finish it. Don't quit, don't quit. Come on, we got this, don't quit. Keep going, keep going. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice job, nice job. First AMRAP down. Go ahead and grab some water. All right, so now we're gonna work as promised chest. So our movement to the chest. Chest flies, chest press, and burpees. With the burpees, I want you to do the hand release push-ups, okay? So, looks like this. Chest fly. It's a big hug, right? Down and up. Down and up. Let your elbows touch the ground. Chest press, palms facing your feet, right here. If you want to bridge up, bridge up. We'll put a leg up. That's fine too. And then our almighty burpee, hand on these push ups. All the way down. Release your hands and then come up. Seven of everything. Let's go. We got it, let's do it team. Seven of everything. Seven flies first, let's go. Remember your elbows touch the ground. Full range of motion. Nice. Seven presses, palms facing your feet. Remember, if you want, bridge up. Again, elbows still touching the ground. This is a chest superset. Three. Seven of everything. Keep moving as many rounds as possible. Okay. Burpees, hand release burpees. Let's do it. Release 
those hands. Come up, all the way down. Don't forget to bring your hips up with you. Okay, don't leave your hips on the ground. Squeeze the butt so everything comes up at the same time. That's right, seven of everything. Keep it going, we're here for seven minutes. That's a minute and 15 down. So I got my first round down at a minute 15, so I'm gonna shoot for about five rounds. Try to get a minimum of four rounds on this. Chest flies, chest press, hand release, burpees. You got it. Challenge yourself with a heavy weight. It's only seven repetitions, guys. And it's only seven minutes. Now down to just over five. Chest press, palms facing your feet. Bridge the butt up if you want to work the glutes. Right into your hand release push up, burpees. Opportunity to get the heart rate up with that up down movement, right? Now, while we're trying to get as many rounds as possible, still focus on your form. Form is paramount here. Nice tight plank on those push ups. Squeeze those glutes. Don't forget to bring the glutes up at the same time as you push up. Remember, chest flies, chest press, burpees. You got this, guys. Keep it going. Remember, let your elbows touch the ground on these flies and presses. I know that weight's getting heavy, but that's okay. Work through that fatigue. Nice. How are those pecs feeling, team? They burning? You got this. Keep it going. Come on. Now, on the burpee, just to let you know, when I'm, if I keep my feet more narrow as I go down into that push-up, the harder it is. More balance and core is required of me to stabilize. All right? Looking good, looking good. We're almost there, guys. Come on, you got this. Just two and a half minutes to go, you got this. That's good for what, at least two rounds? Come on. Looking good, looking good. Almost there, team. Squeeze that butt as you come up on those push ups. Nice job. 120 to go. Come on, you got this. Good for another round.
or another round and a half, depending on where you're at. Push it. Go stronger now. Go stronger. Think past the soreness that's building up right now. Elbows tap the ground on the dumbbell moves. Flies, press, hammer these burpees. Bridge up if you want. All right, let's get our heart rate up with some legs. So if you have a body bar, grab your body bar. If you just have dumbbells, that's completely fine. I would actually go this way. I go body bar or moderate to heavy dumbbell. We're shouldering. So this is the move with the dumbbell. Up and over, okay? Up and over. Second move are thrusters. So either with your dumbbells or if you've got a body bar, grab your body bar. And we got thrusters right here. Just coming down, come up powerfully. And then we have jacks. Okay? We have jacks. All right, so let's do 10 of everything on this. 10 of everything. All right? 10 shouldering. Each squat is one. 10 thrusters. 10 jacks. Here we go. I'll use my dumbbell for the shouldering. Down, there's one, two. Again, just like that med ball, descend as you're coming down. Five, six, seven. Chest is tall, push above that. Eight, nine, ten. All right, either grab the other weight, so you have two, or grab your body bar. And we got thrusters. Here you go. One, come up powerfully. Two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Your shoulders are gonna get fairly fatigued. Jacks here, ten jacks. Now, on the jacks, going forward. Your shoulders are tired, just give me regular jacks. I'm completely fine with that. Okay, keep going. Shouldering, thrusters, and jacks. I'm using my body bar for this round of shouldering. Keep it going. So this is the move with the body bar. Gotta balance it. It's unwieldy. That's what's nice about different types of apparatus. Is it challenges your body in different ways. This is requiring a lot of shoulder and core stabilization. All right, thrusters, 10 of everything. Whew, shoulders are burning. 10 jacks, with or without the body bar. You can either use a lighter weight, you know. You still wanna use weight on the jacks, but don't wanna go as heavy as what you've been using. Grab a lighter weight. Right here. And then remember, we could always modify just going side to side. If you're modifying, push up, maybe definitely grab a weight so you can challenge your body in different ways if you're not able to get that, uh, uh, the dynamic portion, the jumping, agility part of it, okay? Keep it going. We got shouldering. Thrusters and jacks, 10 of everything. We're doing good, guys. You're at 420, just a heads up. 
Strong core. if you want to challenge yourself even more grab heavier weights on these thrusters because we're using our lower body to help bring that weight up okay so those thrusters it's not just a squat and press it's coming up powerfully all at the same time all right all right we got our jacks i'll use this 20 pounder here Remember, 10 of everything, 10 of everything. You got it, 10 of everything. Keep going, as many rounds as possible, guys. How many rounds have you gotten in right now? Try to almost double that, we're down to the last three minutes. Remember, we started with seven minutes. those thrusters on all those squats. Pour the potty squat. Push that butt back. Now on the thrusters, you can go down as low as you want. I've got some wiggy knees right now, so I'm not going quite as slow as I might normally. Whew. Jacks. Oh, baby. Keep it going. Keep it going. Always stabilize your body before you start that moving movement. Don't want to injure yourself. Now, when I say stabilize that body, everything's nice and tight, okay? Especially that core. Squeeze that core, brace it like I'm gonna punch you in the gut, okay? You're bracing it, all right? That's your main support system right there. Keeping everything together. These body bars are unwieldy. and jacks, 10 of everything. I can really feel my core engage when I'm doing those jacks with the weight above my head. So that's why it's really important to brace that core. All right, you're down the last 15 seconds. How about that? Don't stop, keep it going. We finish all the way through. Earn that break, earn that break. Don't quit on me. No quitters this morning. It's a Monday out here. Start strong. Start your week out strong. Nice job, guys. Woo! Take a break. Take a break. All right. Now, I know I have built into these AMRAPs a lot of them. Um, burpee squat thrust type movements, movement. squat thrust being a burpee without a push up. If you don't want to do those move, don't want to go all the way down the plank, well first of all, if you want to modify, walk, walk, okay? You don't have to jump it out like this, okay? You can walk, walk. A lot easier 
That way you're still working your core. So that's the route I would suggest. But if you don't even want to go there, just squat down, okay? So three moves. We're just going to go row right, row left, and then a squat thrust, lighter weight to reverse fly. And again, squat, reverse fly, or walk, walk, back, back, reverse fly. So, all right. So let's start out with the one arm rows. Oh yeah, what's our number on this? Let's do, let's do five of everything. Five rows right, five rows left, five squat thrusts to reverse flies. Let's go. Now, I like to put a weight up here. You keep going. I'm just showing you how I like to set it up. If you have some back issues, this is a good way to support that back a little bit, aside from bracing everything, okay? All right, five of everything. Challenge yourself. Even if you have light weights, double up the weights. You can hold two weights in a hand. So like, if I only had a 10 or two 10s, and I wanted something heavier, if I only have two 10s and I want something heavier, I'll just put them together just like this, okay? And boom, I've got 20 pounds, all right? So just to let you know, don't settle for a light weight if you know you can go a little bit heavier, all right? Don't settle for a light weight if you can crank it up. If you always stay in your comfort zone, you're not gonna make changes to your body. If your goal here is to tone, burn more calories, get more fit, get stronger, you've got to push your body out of the comfort zone. If we stay in our comfort zone, we pretty much stay in our comfort zone, including that's where our body stays, okay? So push it, even just a little bit out of your comfort zone goes a long way. All right, keep it going. So remember, row right, row left, and then the reverse fly right here. Down, up, flat back, reverse fly. Now on that reverse fly, remember, flat back, squeeze the shoulder blades right there. So it's like you're, you're flying in the air right there. This is where you're gonna squeeze, squeeze, squeeze the shoulder blades right there. Boom, squeeze, squeeze, okay? But down, up, squeeze. You don't wanna do the down, up? That's completely fine. Keep it going, team, we're down to five minutes. You've, we've got two minutes under our belt. Row left, row right, squat thrust to reverse fly or just the reverse fly. Five of everything. Challenge yourself, guys. Heavy weight. Only thing I would say not to go too heavy on is your uh, reverse flies because you want to get good form on that. Definitely want to go lighter than you do with your rows. It's just five of everything. And as per usual, when I'm doing single side movements, I like to start with my weaker side, my dumb side. All right. I'm actually doing 10 play rows um, where the weight touches the ground. Keeping it going, keeping it going. What the pen lay rows does is it makes me lift dead weight and removes, removes all momentum on that. You actually have some momentum. If I just went here, and up here and up. Believe it or not, that's actually easier than a pendley row, okay? It's up to you. Looking good, keep it going, guys. Keep it going.
to make it so that you've got your heart rate at a relatively high level, okay? I would say easily on a scale of one to 10, at a seven, maybe an eight. So that means with the my zone, you're in the green, if not yellow zone, all right? So keep pushing it. You shouldn't be able to have a conversation with anybody more than, you know, two to three words, maybe very short sentences, okay? Keep it going. All right, one more minute, one more minute, keep it going. Don't stop on me, keep it going. Nice flat back, head in line with your spine. seconds guys 10 seconds finish finish if you're doing rows switch to your weak side that way you work your weak side a little bit more ah say by the bell nice job guys grab a break grab a break oh. all right let's get a little cardio action in okay let's get that heart rate up So, no way, oh, if you have a Versa loop, put your Versa loop on. It's optional, you don't have to have one, okay? These are the Versa loops. Or the O-rings, some of you guys grab some O-rings for me. And again, I've got more O-rings, um, so feel free to ping me after this live session and, um, We'll get some out to you at the studio, my shape up people. All right, here we go. So, skater, touch, up, touch. Working the versa loops, working on those abductors. Plie squat jumps. So, toes pointing out and back. And then shuffle. One, two, squat, jump. One, two. We're gonna do 10 of everything. All right, skater, here we go. Down, one, reach to the sky. Two, push the limits of the band. Three, four, Five, six, seven, eight. Notice how up inside, inside leg bends, outside leg is straight. 10, plie squats, toes pointing out now. We're gonna work those adductor muscles. One, two, three, four, five, six, come on, seven, eight, you really feel those abductor muscles and those glutes working in this movement as we work against the resistance of the band. Again, if you don't have a band, that's fine. Two shelves to the left, one, two, jump squat. One, two, squat, two, three, four. Really work that band, five. Nice long strides, six, wide strides, I guess, seven. I like my toes pointing in, especially the lead toes, so I really work the glutes. I think this is nine. Whew. Whew. 10, so that was just one round. Ooh, it took us a minute and a half. I don't know about that, let's go a little faster. Good formula, one, two, three, four. Five rounds is our goal. Five, this is number two, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, plie squats, here we go. One, two, modification, three, four, there you go. Five, six, whoo, booty burner, seven, eight, nine, 10. Shuffle, start on the right side, to the left, to the right, I mean. One, two, touch, up. One, two, that's two, one, two, that's three. One, 
two, that's four. One, two, it's okay if you don't have weight, five. One, two, and six. You can actually do this with a band. If you have a regular band, you're just standing on it. Eight, one, two, I know I'm losing count every now and then. Nine, two, 10, Woo. Feel that, feel that, here we go, skater. Oh, 420, one, we did that quicker. Two, three, four, five, six. Push the limits of the band, seven. Stretch it, eight, nine, 10. Woo, plie squat, here we go. How's your heart rate? Is it up? Mine is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! All right, shuffle. Going all the way to the left side. Here we go. One, two. Squat up. One, two. Touch the ground and reach. One, two. One, two. Five. One, two. Six. One, two. Seven. One, two. Eight. One, two. Nine. One, two. Ten. Woo! Keep it going. Here we go. Side to side again. Three minute mark. Can we get three more rounds in? Let's try. One, two. At least two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Woo wee! All right, plie squats. Here we go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Stay light on your feet though. Eight. Nine. Ten. All right. Go all the way to the left. Shuffle. One, two. That's one. Touch the ground on the squats. Two. Three. Toes pointing in. Be pinching toed about it. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. How's that butt? Nine. How are your glutes feeling? Ten. Awesome. That's the goal. Come on. We got the skater. One. Two more rounds. Come on. Let's do it. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Ha ha. Plie squats. Here we go. One. Two. Three. If you're not able to keep up, that's all right. Just change when we change. Five, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's start all the way on the right this time. Here we go. One, two. That's one. One, two. That's two. You got it. That's three. That's four. That's five. Six, looking good. Hang in there, seven, eight. Whoops, if this doesn't make your booty better, oh, I don't know what will. One, two, that's 10. One more round, skater, come on. 40 seconds, let's crank it out. One, two, three, hang in there. Four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Nice, nice, nice. Here we go. Plie. One, two, three. I think I'm going to figure out a way to get the timer in front of you so you guys see it. We're always, every day, we're able to improve these videos. All right, I think that was ten. Okay, side. Here we go. One, two. Ah, saved by the bell. Nice job, guys. Nice job. All right, don't trip as you're taking the reversal loops out. Woo! Grab some water, let's go to some arms, okay? 
We're going to crank it down a little bit. Crank the intensity down a little bit with some arms. We're going to do some curls, presses, and tricep burpees. Tricep burpees to get the heart rate up, okay? So with the curls, I think we'll do, we'll do 21s, but we'll do fives. Five low, five high, five full. Then Arnold presses, looks like this, okay? Start with your weight here. Notice my elbows, my uh, humerus is parallel to the ground. Out, up, back, close, okay? Do five of those, and then five tricep burpees. So everything's in fives, okay? So grab your curling weight. Oh, here we go. All right, let's start with um, low. One, two. Notice how I bring that weight halfway. Three, four, five. Five high. One, two, three, four, five. I think we'll just keep it there. Five low, five high, because I don't want to work the biceps way too much. Okay, Arnold presses. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, this is the only time that we get to put the weights down. Five tricep burpees. Now, tricep burpees, narrow, elbows grazing our ribcage, all the way down, push up, and then come up. If you don't want to do tricep burpees, give me some kickbacks. Here we go. Five of everything. Nice tight plank on those tricep burpees. Remember, perfect push-up, perfect plank. All right, from the top, curls, five low, five high. Remember, one, two, three, four, five, five high. One, two, three, four, five. Tricep, I mean, uh, uh, Arnold presses. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, the only time that we're gonna get to put these weights down. Here we go, five burpees, tricep burpees. One, two, goal here, six rounds. This is round two, two, three, as you get down. Four. Elbows grazing your ribcage. Hands right underneath your shoulders. Five. Woo! Okay, here we go. Round three. Six rounds is our, our goal, okay? All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Five high. One, two, three, four, five. Arnold presses, woo, here we go. One, two, three, how those arms feeling? Four, five, strong core because we're bringing those weights above our head, okay? All right, tricep burpees again, here we go. Remember, you can do kickbacks or any tricep movement you want. We're basically doing biceps, shoulders, and triceps. Two. Anything I do here is open to your interpretation. Three, the goal is to challenge yourself. You wanna come out of this workout tired. Having known that you challenge your body. Five, okay, from the top. What is this, round four? Oh, we got this, huh? We got this. One, two, three, Four. We're all seizing this opportunity to make ourselves better. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Arnold presses. Here we go. One, strong core. Two, remember, brace that core. Three, keep those, that humerus, top part of your arm parallel to the ground, okay? Parallel to the ground. Don't let it drop. All right, triceps. We're doing burpees. Again, strong plank, don't drop your hips. If you need to do the burpee off your knees like this, that's completely fine too. 
two, looks like this. Right here, three. But again, not this. Not on your knees and like this, okay? Try to get your butt down right there. All right. <clears throat> Round five. We got this. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Woo wee! Okay, your Arnold presses. Here we go. Remember, humerus, top part of my arm, parallel to the ground. <sighs> One, two, strong four. Three, four, five. Oh man, shoulders are gone. All right, tricep burpees. Here we go. One. Two, stay strong. Three, four. I like to put my weights there so I know where my hand placement is. It's also a little bit easier on my wrist. All right, all right, round six. We got this, guys. Last round of this. Here we go. One, two, Three, four, five, halfway. One, two, three, four, five. We're almost there, team. One, ah, two, three, four, five. All right, five tricep burpees. That's all I ask, and I'll let you end it here, and then we just have core. Come on now. Tricep burpees or any tricep you want. Remember, anything I do here is open to your interpretation. Your body, you know what your limits are, or you know what your, where you don't have limits. You know where to push yourself, and you know where to restrain yourself. Be true to yourself, but always try to push yourself out of your comfort zone safely. Nice job. Oh, we got 25 seconds. Let's punch it out, come on. We can get a half round in. Finish it. Two, three, four, five. Up. Oh, these Arnold presses, presses are killer. One, two. Ah, saved by the bell. Woo wee! All right, nice job. Grab some water. I want you to grab some light weights. We're gonna do some uh, core movements. So the lightest weights you have. And again, for my shape up people, if you need some lighter weights, I've got big buckets of eights, fives, and threes. Feel free to ping me. We'll set up a pickup time. We're all in shelter in place. I'll keep my six feet of uh, personal social space between us, but feel free to come in and get those weights, okay? Just ping me and I'll set up a time when um, everybody can do that. Um, anyway, so let's do core work. Three moves, crunch and punch, be up and bike and punch. I'll keep it simple. And let's just do, let's do uh, six of everything. Crunch and punch, bicycle crunch, and be ups. Crunch and punch. Here we go, guys. Just follow me for the first one. Crunch. One. Now, when I punch, I start with my hands neutral, and then I rotate my wrist. Three, four. If you don't have a weight, that's five. Just clench your, your fist. Five. What did I say? Six of everything? Six. Okay? All right. So, V-ups. Again, grab your light weight. One. Straighten up those knees. Two. Now, you find this hard on your back, bend your knees and let that weight ride your shin. Three, four. See how I bend my knees? Five. This is fine too. Six. Bison crunch. Okay. If you've got weight, you can use a one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, without weight, it's right here. All right. Repeat, repeat. Here we go. Crunch and punch. Let's go left, right is one, going from now on. So, one, whoo, two, crunch, punch, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
three, without the weight, punch, punch, four, punch, punch, five, so if your weight's too heavy, just use your fist, six, okay, V-ups, V-ups, however, every movement is one, we got it, one, two, ride your shin, modification, three, four, five, without weight, six, don't have to have weight, all right, bicycle crunch, left, right is one, without weight, it's right here, one, two, full rotation, three, belly button drops the spine, four, five, six, those dumbbells are optional, you don't have to use the dumbbells if you don't want to, crunch and punch, here we go, round three, so now I'm going to show you with the weight, again, rotating my fist, one, whoo, uh, two, Three, four, five, six. Nice. V ups. Let's do it, guys. V ups. One, two, three, four, five. Six, bicycle crunch. With weight, looks like this. One, two, three, four, five, half, six. Oh my goodness. All right, what round is this? Round four, here we go. Crunch and punch, without weight. I'm just gonna alternate now, without weight. Here we go. One, how's that core feeling? Two, draw that belly button into your spine. Keep it going. Six of everything. I think we're at five, six. All right, V ups, V ups. We're almost there, guys. We're only taking this for five minutes. Okay, give me V ups, six V ups. And then six bicep crunches, left, right. You got this. You're down to your last minute and a half. Last minute and a half. Let's keep it going. Bicep crunches, six bicep crunches. Left, right is one. Two, three, I'll stop counting because everybody's probably at a different point. Just know that you're working six crunch and punch, left, right punch, six V-ups, each leg is up, one, six bicep crunches, left, right is one. Sorry, the V-up, each leg is one, all right? Again, crunch and punch. Here we go, remember, crunch, crunch, punch. Six of those, V-ups, six of these. Bicycle crunches, with weight or without. Left, right is one. You're down to your last 50 seconds. Come on team, you got this. Strong core, belly button drawn to your spine. Bring it home, bring it home, you got this. Nice job, keep it going. I see you, I see you working hard. I see you working to improve yourself, to better yourself. That's it, even during this shelter in place. I tell you, I swear. We can come out of this stronger and fitter than we were when we first went in. We got this team. We're in this together. Make sure you send these links out to your friends and family, anybody. It helps to keep working out. It helps to keep moving, all right? We don't need to be couch potatoes during this shelter in place. We just keep moving. Keep it going, come on. All right, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. And turn off this timer. For my Shape Up people and my people that are live, if you could stay there a minute. Um, and for my recorded audience, this is Chris Maloney from Shape Up Boot Camps and Fitness. Thanks for joining us today for another session of, of Total Body Shred. We'll see you tomorrow or the next time you choose to tune in. Hopefully it's soon. Take care.